Hi. I want to put the beautiful morning rainbow rays to good use. So, another journal. Bliss of Prime Creator. This one is from April 5th, and it was the first of that day. The Mayan day was one offering or water. I rose today with such radiant joy in my heart. I fairly cried with it. The first thing upon my lips was the prayer of dedication and consecration to Prime Creator, and I fairly sang it, my heart soaring into blissful union, communion. It was so strange, too, to share it with you. You will have to see the prayer. It goes something like this, for it morphs a bit regularly. Prime Creator, I dedicate, consecrate, and offer this day, this life, this all unto you. My every thought, word, deed, feeling, emotion, body, mind, soul, spirit, all that I am, take it and me, and make us thine and thee, consciously thine and thee in full awareness. So, that is the prayer, which is perfectly meaningless as mere words only. It must arise from deep within heart. Then it is an action, not just a prayer. So, at times I barely get the words prime creator out, and I am enwrapped in bliss. It was like that this morning, and the tears came as the heart gently overflowing. As I mused on how I am becoming one with Prime Creator here in this life, and what a joy that is, I received a surprise. Prime Creator, or Higher Self, or who or whatever, shared with me her joy in merging with me. <laughs> yes, can you believe it? The joy of Source in merging with the creation. That's a wow. Left me speechless. So, with love's joy, we seemed to merge up together weaving into and around each other like the caduceus, depicted as two snakes interweaving, love upon love. It was amazing. Words will not but touch this. You must feel it with your heart, and you can. We are limited only by our beliefs, my friends. We are not really limited at all, but with free will, we've chosen to do so, to limit ourselves, or rather, perhaps to fall in with the game plan of limitation that's been laid out for us here in 3D. And don't blame anyone, certainly not Prime Creator, for that. Look within. We're all responsible. We all participated. We're all creators. And until we own up to that, once more enthroned, take up our scepter and rule as we will, then we'll have it to endure still. So let's get together right here in the heart. Let's go on a mission to straighten this mess up we've made and get a new start. It's in our control now, if control it we will. They've kept us united in fear and ill will, but they don't control us, lest we give them power, lest we abdicate then our throne, our domain, our kingdom within. We've been told through the ages no, our kingdoms within, we've been told through the ages, 
So go there, so come there with me then, take up throne, and begin to rule your domain, to see with new eyes, to know that to reign is a choice we've been given. It's not hard, nor is it easy. It just is what it is. But we're tougher by far than we've been led to believe. Let these words settle o'er you. Then let them sink in. Then look at them, set them, and let us begin to remake the whole earth then. Let her blossom once again as she's meant to, desires to, and will gain once we enter into our kingdom of heart where we're all meant to reign. We're all kings there and queens there. So let's do begin. Oh, my friends, what can I say? I had only gotten the words prime creator out and I was enraptured. It was positively heavenly. Remember, please, there is no need in waiting for heaven. It is experienceable right here in body on earth. I won't say in 3D because that I don't know. I do know I'm regularly caught up in higher dimensions, but then so are you. And if not, then it's your potential. What one has done, others can do. There's nothing special about me that way. It's all creation that's special. And if you've no belief or an anti-belief in a God, then let's just say it's all life that's special. It doesn't matter either way. The specialness remains though your beliefs may cloud it from your vision. One day, I'm going to write a book about the sense of humor, the wild, mild, and glorious sense of humor of source. This will have to find some way into it, this topsy-turvy thing where the creator or where source is showing me not just how I rejoice and swim in the love of Source in this merging prayer, but how Source herself swims in the love of just being me, the creature. How she rejoices and luxuriates in these deep feelings of union I feel with her. In other words, how she loves wearing me, just as I love wearing her. It's rather wacky, but then that source, oh yes, some, or even many, will consider me irreverent to call source wild and wacky. They just don't know the fullness of source. Maybe that's all. Nor do I. Let me hasten to explain. I'm not saying that. I'm just perhaps saying that Source is much bigger and better by far than we can see with these limiting glasses of our beliefs so firmly attached. So, just let them go. Let's adventure within. So come now. So go now. So in. So without topsy-turvy it's been, and so it continues, ever waiting for you. It's just your choice now that holds back whatever you do. Let heart be the leader, and you'll not go wrong. You'll learn now, you'll dance, and you'll swim, and you'll sing a heavenly song. So, enter within then, why do you wait? What for and why for? Do you love this, the fear and the hate? The world's wide derision for things of the heart is massive, but that's okay, they're not very smart. We'll leave them alone there in all of that muck 
and just go within, venture in, swim and sing then. Our song will lure them in too, whenever they're ready. But that's not up to me nor to you. So let do them whatever they will. Our journey's our own. Each one is in charge. Each one has a heart then and free will to enter or not.